All right, so today we're going to talk about the Grand Design Momentum 25G a little bit more. We're going to talk about the exterior, and we're going to kind of, kind of talk about it from an owner's perspective again. Like I said, there's plenty of videos on the internet from um, the salesmen at the dealerships going over it, but, but we're trying to give you kind of an owner's perspective on what we found. One of my biggest concerns when we were first looking at it was the amount of storage that it had. Um, I thought we would need a lot more storage, but really this is the only storage compartment you really have and it is tall so they say it's great for fishing rods or whatever but we are the kind of weekend warrior family so it turns out that i really don't need a ton of stuff so really this compartment works out you know got our tire levelers or uh, power cable a few tools you know um, some extra just just a little crap we need so it turns out that the concern I had over the storage is not really a big deal and also when we load our side-by-side -side, being that it's a toy hauler we kind of load it down with the chairs and other stuff for camping and you do have a big open area there to store stuff in as well so it has not been a problem for us now if we were going for long weeks you know on end trips it might be an issue now here is the outdoor kitchen area it has a little 110 volt um, fridge which we hadn't even used because I think it's useless. And in, I, I don't know if I like it simply because it is 110 volt, it doesn't work off gas. So you can't even turn it on until you get hooked up to a power station or you run your generator. By the time it gets cold, the weekend's over and it's time to go anyways. So I do believe that we are going to remove this and replace it with a different type of appliance, maybe an ice maker or something else outside that we'd get more use out of. And it's not just me, it's other people with the 25G and the Momentum G-Class that has this fridge that, that has the same type of issue that I'm having. It comes with the outdoor stove. Other people have upgraded this stove and I don't blame them. I tried to cook sausage on it the other night and it took forever. I don't even know if you could boil water on this stove. It, it's, it's taking up space. So other people have upgraded this and I think I'm probably gonna look at doing the same. And then we have some other storage in the back where we just keep our grill tools and other stuff. So that is the outdoor kitchen. Now we've got the awning extended. You know, it's just your nice standard electric awning. It's, it's, a, it's a sun shade. It's not any wind more than a breeze. I would retract that awning. Um, so coming around to the back of the toy hauler I've got we've got the ramp let down here and it's got the outdoor patio kit on it with the railing which is really nice we really really do like that we've got the awning extended this is also an electric awning and again any more than a light breeze I probably would not have that extended now you can see the awning is tilted just a little bit to the uh, the left sides a little lower than the right and that is for water runoff. Now, there's other people with the toy haulers that also complain about that because it does look off and it does drive me crazy, but it's adjustable. So don't worry about that. Well, we'll show you on another video on how we're going to adjust that and level it out because we live in the desert. The odds that that's ever going to be out during the rain is slim to none. So, and even if it does rain, I wouldn't have this out more than a fog. Like I said, it's, it's a sunshade and that's, that's what it needs to continue to be and we did get the three season doors the three season doors is the reason we bought it we saw one on the lot um, that had those doors installed and we fell in love with it the amount of light and the protection you get from the inside is just awesome we love the three season doors note that you are going to lose a few inches on the top so you need to make sure that you know your toy whatever you're putting in there uh, measured if you get the three season doors just note that you're going to lose about two to three inches of height clearance to load your toy up. Um, coming around to this side, you know, we've got our ladder to access the roof. That's pretty standard. We've got two slide outs. Here again is the fuel station. I'm sure you've probably already seen that, which I've got it locked up. And this is the bedroom slide out. And it's kind of awkward to access your water connections with the slide out out. I mean, it's, <laughs> I've hit my head a few times trying to get in here and hook up the hoses uh, with the slide out. Not a huge deal, but just you really got to watch these corners. It, it hurts really bad when you hit your head on them. I've done it more than once and I will continue to do it. And this is our generator access here, which we really don't need to get into that much with the 
slide out. And then on the front, you know, we just got our dual 12 volt batteries. We'll probably eventually upgrade those to six volt. And when we had it built, you know, just like the three season doors, we opted to go with the 30 pound tanks. So that's just a really quick look of the outside from our perspective of the 25G Momentum. And we'll get ready to do another video from the inside and um, actually loading our side by side and how much room in there in the process of what we do to load it and strap it down. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.